What's going on YouTube? It's Shot 11 back here with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about the future of this franchise that we've been talking about on this channel for the last few months. Specifically, who will be the cover athlete of MLB The Show 22? Now, we have no news on this yet at all, so this is all speculation on my end, based on who I think they'll lean to, and who has a legitimate shot at the cover. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you'll know every time that I upload one of these. So, most of you don't know my background, but I studied communication in college, and I took some marketing classes, so I used that to have an angle for SDS on what they would think could be a good professional person that personifies baseball on their cover. They'll need a personality that people like and also has the talent to back it up, and that people care about. I have some people to discuss in this video, and why or why not they'll have a chance to get on the cover, and in my opinion, what realistic shot they have. So let's get started. Before I get into the list, I want to talk about a couple wild card players here. Let's say SDS can get the rights of a guy like Derek Jeter for next year as a new legend. That will definitely be my prediction on the cover, but he's a long shot. I'm shooting for the moon here, so I want to add some more realistic options going forward. And I didn't add a guy like Ronald Acuna Jr. to this, but he could also be a big possibility down the line. I'm just not making a choice for this year's video. So the obvious choice that a lot of people will come up with here is Mike Trout. You know, I hear I always see a lot. Why isn't Mike Trout on the cover of these games? He's the best player in baseball when healthy, but he also has been the cover guy for the mobile game MLB Nine Innings for the past few seasons. And it seems like he's contractually obligated to not do multiple games because he's never been on one of these covers yet. So it would be nice to have Trout on the cover, but it just seems like it won't happen because of that other game. And so I'm going to move on to someone who's more realistic in my opinion. You might be thinking, why am I seeing Tatis in this video? He was the cover guy for this year. But for this one, I'm not going to rule out the possibility of the same cover athlete for back-to-back -back seasons. It, ha it has happened, but not for about 10 years. Joe Maurer was a cover athlete in MLB 10 and MLB 11 to show, and Tatis is still a very popular player. I'm not going to rule out the possibility that he could be back-to-back -back years. I don't really think that this will happen, but there's always that chance, and that he's a big enough player to get on the cover again, and he's the SDS guy. SDS in San Diego Studios, Fernando plays in San Diego. It could help them out if they want to do it again. I just don't see it happening, and it could happen. I wanted to add him in the video for that reason. So we've never seen Mookie Betts on the cover either. He's been one of the top all-around players in the game since he entered the league a few years ago. He's on a big market theme, the Dodgers, which helps with proximity to the studio and the marketing angle because most fans know who this guy is. Along with that, SDS needs a player who can sell copies of the game, and he's a player who can do that to casual baseball fans. So, he's not my pick for the actual cover. But I think he would be a pretty good option for the cover if they decided to go that route because, like I said, everyone knows who this guy is. Juan Soto is quickly becoming the best hitter in baseball and he's still a very young player at 22 years old. That can help sell a lot of games to the young audience who plays this baseball game. He is not a huge market team, but he has done enough in big moments to be a good fit. He helped Washington win a World Series title in 2019 where a lot of the baseball world could see how good he was. And he's an international talent, which could help even sell more copies of the game if he made the cover. And I don't see him making the cover, but he could be a good option also. You know, people like the big hitters, and Soto hits the bombs. He's the card that people want to use the most, sometimes in finest. He could be the player that people want to use on the cover, but let's see what SDS does. I really thought about making this my cover athlete. He's the son of a Hall of Famer. He's the AL MVP and runner-up, Guerrero Jr. He and the next guy were basically neck and neck for me, and I could see them doing what Madden did with a co-cover athlete, they did Mahomes and Tom Brady, I could see something similar, but if you watch baseball at all the last three seasons, you know who this guy is. He's one of the biggest fan favorites in the game right now with unbelievable talent, and he plays for a Canadian team which would help sell a ton of copies in that country, along with a bunch in America because he's a great player. He's a really big name right now to get on the cover, and I could see him being on it this year, but for this video, I made him the runner-up here as well because of the impact the next guy made on the game in 2021. It's hard to go away from him, and like I said, I could see the co-MVP happening, but I'm going to roll with him, my next guy here just for the video sake. So like I said, there could be a dual cover athlete happening, but... Shohei Otani could be the most interesting cover athlete in the history of baseball video games. 
It's worth mentioning that there hasn't been a pitcher on the show ever for the cover, and I kind of feel good about this one because he has come off one of the most impressive seasons of all time. For me, another thing that makes perfect sense for Shohei is that the integration of two-way players in the road of the show this year. People really enjoy that. They want to be a hitter. They want to be a pitcher. And it all culminated in one season for Shohei Otani. So if SDS wants to lean into this two-way player idea even more, they have the ultimate two-way player right here in Shohei Otani. He can hit very well. He can pitch very well. Everything came together, which has never happened before in a single season. And he could be the guy to sell the most copies when the game drops around April because of his pure talent on both sides of the baseball. So there you have it guys, my picks for the cover athlete for MLB The Show 22. There are a lot of good options to choose from here, so let me know who your favorite is. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you're new on the way out if you haven't already, hit that bell so you can know every time I post one of these videos, and I thank you all for watching this video, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.